Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to look at the top five best walkie-talkies in 2024. We made this list based on our own opinions, research, and customer reviews. We've considered their quality, features, and values when narrowing down the best choices possible. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description box below. So, here are the top five best walkie-talkies. The fifth product on our list is Baofeng BF-F8HP. This general mobile radio service radio is the most capable and fully featured radio we've tested. Still, it requires a ham radio operator license to use legally in the US. If you have or are willing to get the license, the Baofeng BF-F8HP may become your favorite portable two-way radio. Using a longer antenna and five watts of power instead of two, the BF F8HP has two to three times the range of the other radios in the test. It transmits further and works better in hilly terrain and foul weather. Its rechargeable battery life is also among the best tested. You can purchase multiple accessories for this radio, including a cable that will let you program it with your computer instead of futzing with the unit itself. With great power comes responsibility. You must understand local regulations every time you use a GMRS radio to avoid fines or penalties. For example, where we tested the BFF8HP in California, only licensed amateur radio operators can use it and only on amateur radio bands. You must walk a tightrope between taking advantage of this unit's extensive power and programmability and staying within legal guidelines to avoid breaking FCC rules. If you're not prepared to put in the time to learn how to properly use the radio and earn the license, this isn't the right one for you. This radio is for technically inclined users who are willing to get licensed to get the best range and flexibility for their specific needs. Up next in fourth place is the Motorola T600. The Motorola T600 is a solid choice for anyone who wants a radio for water-based activities. It boasts the best waterproof rating of the bunch, and backs up its manufacturer's claims beautifully. We placed it under a meter of water for half an hour, and it survived unscathed. And luckily, it's unlikely that you'll ever accidentally repeat this test because the T600 floats. The walkie-talkie also performs well in our unobstructed range test. It maintained communication for six miles along a super straight flat road, making it ideal for a long distance conversation on the water. This radio's main selling point is its waterproof housing, making it an easy choice for a sea kayaker or paddleboarder. You'll pay for it though, and the extra protection adds heft and bulk. If you don't expect to drop your radio in the water and need one that can withstand the odd slash or light rain shower, most of the options we tested will work. Many are smaller, lighter, and less expensive. If you spend all your time on the water and don't wanna worry about sinking a radio, we recommend the T600. The third product on our list is the Backcountry Access BC Link 2.0. The Backcountry Access BC Link 2.0 is built for outdoor enthusiasts and excels at its intended task. Backcountry Access keeps things simple but includes enough extra features to help you adjust to almost any condition. The main body of the radio stashes nicely in a backpack and the extended smart mic works wonderfully with a sturdy clip and an ergonomic design. The BC Link 2.0 displayed an impressive range across steep landscapes and during a blizzard, and the rechargeable batteries have a generously long life, though not the longest in the test. The radio also stands up well to dust and water, staving off any signs of wear after returning from several trips in harsh mountain conditions. One of our favorite features offered by this model is the dial on the microphone unit that allows you to change channels without even looking at it, even with gloves on. Our main gripe with this radio is its heft. It's the largest and heaviest model in the test, mainly because it includes a radio and a separate microphone attached by a cord. It's best to have a bag or large pocket to carry the main radio and something to clip the microphone to. We recommend the shoulder strap of a backpack. We appreciate that this setup makes the Link 2.0 one of the easiest models to hear. While the unit does seem sturdy, we've scratched the display on one of our units, and the small plastic hook that levers the cord connection in place seems like an obvious weak point. We avoid it by detaching the mic as rarely as possible. 
Overall, we think this is an excellent option if you're already carrying a pack and don't mind the extra bulk and expense. The second product on our list is the Midland X-Talker T10. If you're on the hunt for a straightforward and affordable two-way radio, the Midland X-Talker T10 gets the job done. It's lightweight and compact, fitting easily in a day pack or even a standard pocket, with a battery life that's among the best we tested. Unlike most walkie-talkies at this price point, the T10 is water-resistant. It survived a water hose shower and a rainy adventure in our tests. The X-Talker T10's rugged case and antenna design lead us to believe they can withstand use and abuse. The clip that will hold the radio onto a backpack's shoulder strap isn't the best, but it works. The X-Talker T10 has a limited range compared to the best options in the test, which is common among the smaller, less expensive units we've reviewed. It maxed out at one mile in our line-of-sight range tests. When we tested it with undulating terrain and obstructions, the range dropped to about three-quarters of a mile. The other radios we tested in this price range posted similar results, and the T10 outperformed them overall. This is not the radio we recommend when reliable communication is critical. But, if you need a simple and inexpensive option that anyone can learn to use quickly, this is an excellent option. Before we reveal number one, be sure to check out the description below for the newest deals on each of these items, and be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on the best products on the market. Finally, our top product title name is the Rocky Talkie. The Rocky Talkie radios were quiet contenders that slowly and steadily beat out the competition, performing impressively across the board. We started our most recent testing round by heading straight into the backcountry for a five-day winter camping trip. The Rockies distinguished themselves with crisp communication even when multiple units were clustered in a group, cutting through the interference that many other models struggled with. We also noticed these radios required less frequent charges in below freezing temperatures thanks to their rechargeable lithium batteries. And most importantly, their range is comparable to the best family radio service options we tested in both peak to valley and rolling terrain scenarios. It doesn't hurt that they're sturdy, compact, and water resistant with a rock solid carabiner attachment point. Our main complaint is that these radios don't provide access to National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration weather monitoring channels. Having access to this information when you're out of cell range can be critical in the backcountry. You pick up a less expensive spare radio for this purpose, but we'd expect weather access from a radio at this price point. A lesser complaint is that even the highest volume setting can be hard to hear if there is significant background noise, like heavy winds or a sled full of gear sliding across the snow you need to keep the unit close to your ear. Rocky does offer a secondary, waterproof mic attachment that's smaller and would be easier to clip closer to your ear. It could help. Still, in most conditions, we find ourselves reaching for this simple, sturdy unit more than any other in the test. That's all for our list of the five best walkie-talkies on the market. Head over to the description below for links to more detailed info on each of the products. And remember to leave a comment to let us know your opinion. Thanks for watching. If we helped you out in any way, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. We'll see you guys in the next video.